Hello everybody out there in the bookverse, it's Stephanie and today I am back with a birthday book haul slash book shopping vlog. I do this every year. I go out to bookstores and I let you on Instagram vote on which books I should buy out of the choices and then I get that book. So let's go ahead and start out with the actual book shopping part of it. I'll walk through the books that I ended up picking and then I also was gifted some books from some amazing friends here on booktube. I am so lucky to have such great friends here and I really appreciate it so much. So um, after the book shopping I will show you what books they got for me as well. Hello, welcome to my birthday book shopping vlog. I do this pretty much every year I think and this year we're just staying in um, the area that I live in instead of going on a trip, but I'm really excited. We have some fun bookstores that we're planning on going to go see. I'm going to pick out some options, post on my Instagram, let people decide, let um, my husband, my sister decide as well. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited. And the first store that we're going to is this like secondhand bookstore store. I've never been here before, but it looks like it used to be some sort of like car repair shop or something. So I'm really looking forward to this. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Barnes & Noble, the book that you picked for me to get is House of Hunger by Alexis Henderson. Now I have read The Year of the Witching by the same author and I didn't exactly love it. I thought it was pretty good but it wasn't something that I really thought was phenomenal or I was really into but the premise of this one sounds so good. This girl takes a job as a blood maid and in this world I guess they're, they drink 
human blood, kind of like vampires. And so she goes to this very rich, aristocratic house and is a, kind of a blood made for them, but she just lets them drink her blood as her job. I think that sounds really interesting, like a really good premise. And I'm so excited to see what I think of this book. It's also fairly short, so I could get through it pretty quickly. And it just gives off the vibes that I am wanting this time of year. So I think this was a perfect pick. As you see, you picked out Thistlefoot by Jenna Rose Nethercott. I am actually a little bit surprised that this was the choice for this bookstore out of the ones that we had, but I am really looking forward to it. I haven't really heard anyone talking about this book. Um, a little bit I've seen it on TikTok, but I have just seen people liking it, but I haven't really seen people talking about it a little more in depth. I didn't really love the cover of it. I don't know, it just doesn't really call to me, but I really love that kind of Baba Yaga, Eastern European fairy tale retelling feel. And so I am really looking forward to this. I think it is set in America though, which I'm looking forward to less, but I'm still, I still think it could be really great. I've heard people enjoy it, people really liking it a lot. So yes, I cannot wait to get to this one. You're already on my mind when it gets late. I always realize that I need you Are you thinking about me too tonight? It's no secret All my friends already know There's no reason To hold it back, I let it show All my feelings Are you thinking about me too tonight? Let the music play Like a drug I am hooked on you Sweeter than summer wine Baby just hold me tight Like a drug I am hooked on you And that makes me say Oh man You make you feel like paradise And the last bookstore that was voted on the book that was chosen was All of Our Demise by Amanda Foody and Christine Lynn Herman. I am really looking forward to this duology. This is the sequel to All of Us Villains. Sorry, the wind is pretty intense outside. So I don't know if you can hear it, but it's so loud. I have to film though. This is the only day I have to film. Um, so this one is described as a magical Hunger Games, which I am here for. I think that is something that I will absolutely love. If I'm going to be jumping into a YA series, that is what I want from it, I think. I think this is a book that I'm really going to love. This series, the the just the premise of it sounds perfect for me. So I am so excited to get to this duology. Probably sometime in December, I think. I think I'd like to just binge it back to back. So picture in my mind just to keep this moment till the end of time Cause I know that it might be over after tonight So before I change my mind Your hands around my waist Just let the music play Like the drug I am hooked on you Sweeter than summer wine Baby just hold me tight Like the drug I
final store that we went to is one of my favorite stores of all time. I absolutely love it. It has cats. The store next door is like a candy ice cream shop and they, it's just so cute and I just absolutely love it so much. At that store, I did not do a poll. I had my sister pick me a book, my husband pick me a book, and then I picked me a book. So I'm gonna start off with their picks. My sister picked Aspects by John M. Ford. Well, she actually picked out the Book of Gothel first, but I already own that. So this is her second pick. And I think she picked it a lot because it's blurred by Robert Jordan and then it has a for introduction by Neil Gaiman. And I like Robert Jordan and I love Neil Neil Gaiman. So that I think was a huge factor in choosing this book. And I'm really excited about it. I haven't read anything by this author and I haven't heard anyone talk about him or mention this book whatsoever. But it says in here that John M. Ford is one of the greatest sci-fi and fantasy authors of his time. And I've read nothing by him that I can remember. And I've never heard people talk about him that I can remember. So definitely excited to jump into this one. I love the cover. I think it's very pretty. So yeah, I'm interested to see what I think about this one. And I think it's one I apparently need to read because Robert Jordan and Neil Gaiman love him. The book chosen by my husband was The Widow Queen. And I'm not going to try to say the author's name. I'll hold it up here so you can see it. But I just feel like I would butcher it and I would feel bad. This was originally written in Polish, I believe, and translated into English. And this is more of a historical fiction rather than fantasy, which is very different for me. And I'm definitely looking forward to it. I think it maybe it's because of the throne on the cover, but it kind of gives me Game of Thrones vibes, but without magic. Uh, so I think it'll be perfect for the wintertime. I don't know why, but Game of Thrones just always feels like a winter vibe. And this one feels the same way. This one I will read in the back a little bit. The Widow Queen is an epic saga of family, love, and war. A battle-tested exile returns to claim his rightful throne. A bloodthirsty prince hungers for his father's crown and an honorable Viking leader is thrust into the labyrinthine politics of nobility and the main character that I can't pronounce the name holds the power to raise or ruin the fates of them all. I am really looking forward to this. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm expecting it to be very dark and have a lot of intrigue, backstabbing, twists, and I think it's going to be really good. And the book that I picked out for myself, I went a little bit different than my like epic adult high fantasy that I tend to gravitate towards. And I chose the embroidered book by Kate Hartfield. So this one follows two sisters who were princesses and were married to kings. I think it's Charlotte and Antoinette, who's Marie Antoinette. Um, but they have this book that they pass between each other and it has some sort of magic to it. And I'll read the back part because I think it sounds good. Two sisters are sent to marry strangers far from home. Soon they will become the most influential women of the age, but their journey to power did not begin with marriage. It began with a book. So I think that the historical fantasy atmosphere is going to be perfect. I really do enjoy historical fantasy a lot. Plus that like magical vibes of this magical book. I think I just think this is going to be something I absolutely love. I have very, very high hopes for it. I really haven't heard anyone talk about it. I know that it was a Goldsboro pick. And so I saw people saw a lot of people like hauling this book, but I haven't seen anyone read it. So I don't know, I'm excited to kind of go into it a little bit blind and not really have other people's feelings on it kind of change my expectations. So now let's move on to the gift side of it, the gifts that I received from you guys, from my friends on booktube. I'm gonna start with this cute one that came in like the package. I think it's adorable. And this one is from Angela. It says, happy birthday, Stephanie. This novella has the perfect atmosphere for this time of year. And it's one of my favorites. Have a wonderful birthday, my dear dark academia friend from Angela. And I am so excited for this. And the book is What Moves the Dead by T. Kingfisher. Now, y'all know I read Nettle and Bone by T. Kingfisher earlier this year, like not that long ago, and absolutely loved it. I really, really enjoyed the atmosphere, the writing style, everything about it. So I am so excited to jump into this one. This one just looks like dark and creepy, and I can't wait. This sounds like the perfect thing for this time of year. Like Angela said, reading it in this fall transitioning to winter time. I feel like I want to fit it on, but I also want to save it for a readathon because it's so short. So I don't know. I am torn, but thank you so much, Angela. I'm really looking forward to this.
The next one is from my awesome friend Sophia. It says, this looks so cute. I have it too and really enjoyed the film. Definitely need to read it soon. Enjoy and happy birthday from Sophia. And she got me Kiki's Delivery Service by Aiko Kedono. And I just think this looks so cute. Look at the little cat on the back of her broom. Oh, it looks perfect for this time of year. So good. I feel like I read a lot of dark stuff this time of year, but this one just has those kind of whimsical, magical vibes to it that is, like, I just think it'd be really fun and happy and easy, and I could just fly through this book and I want to read it so bad before Halloween. I'm going to try to fit this one in before Halloween. I know I'm crazy, but oh, doesn't it just look perfect? It looks so cute. And then I want to watch the movie, which I think is a Studio Ghibli movie as well, and kind of compare them and see what I think. So thank you so much, Sophia. I am really excited. The next gift that I received is from one of my awesome Patreons, Stacy. It says, happy birthday. Thank you for all your amazing content from Stacy. And she got me Trader's Blade by Sebastian de Castell. I am really looking forward to reading this series. I know a lot of people have absolutely loved this and particularly really enjoy the main character. This is an adult high fantasy and it follows these people who used to be the great coach for the king. The king was killed and now they're on missions from their late king that they have to fulfill. I think that this is very character focused, which I really love. And I don't know why, but I kind of get Robin Hobb vibes. I don't know if those vibes are right or not. I could be completely off. But for some reason, this kind of reminds me of Robin Hobb. And I feel like I might be getting some of that amazing character work that's very emotional in this book. But I'm really looking forward to it. And thank you so much, Stacey. I really appreciate it. I love getting to hang out with you on all the sprints. And you're just so much fun. And thank you so much for remembering my birthday. And the final gift that I received is from Abby from the channel Abby Salter. It says, happy birthday, Stephanie. I hope you have an amazing day. Buddy read, question mark, love, Abby. And I am really looking forward to this book. And we have actually already made plans for a buddy read of this book. And that is Engines of Empire by Aris Ford. This is an adult high fantasy series. It's set in this world that is very much... Um, the magic is very much a part of their like economy and their entire world. And... I'm really excited to try it out. I think we follow this main family that's in charge of transportation, essentially, in this world, which sounds a little bit odd, but I'm intrigued. I want to see what it's all about. And I've heard some people really loving this book and saying it's just very intriguing. You get very immersed into this world. I've heard other people say it's a little bit slow and boring, so I'm excited to try it out. I think it'll be one I really enjoy, though. I don't always, I don't tend to mind slow in books. I really like the worlds that are very much built up and have a lot of, like, foundation to them, so I'm really looking forward to reading this book and looking forward to Buddy reading it with Abby. Very excited, so thank you so much, Abby. So that is the end of my birthday book shopping book haul video. If you've watched these in the past, you'll notice that I definitely have less books on this year than I have in previous years, and that was intentional. I definitely tried to hold myself back a little bit and not go quite as crazy just because it's my birthday, but I am really excited about all of the books here, and thank you to everyone that sent me one. Ah, oh, I just, I can't wait to read all of these. I feel like I want to just drop everything else and read these ones now, but obviously can't do that. I have commitments, but thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.